Hey everyone, welcome back to the farm. It's Brad with Batchelder Family Farms and I just got back a little bit ago from the farmer's market. So I'm going to do some unloading here and do some of the evening chores and uh, kind of update you on where we're at with some of our animals and our bison and these roosters that keep talking to me. So follow along. If you haven't yet, man, they're really talking to me. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, give us the thumbs up and ring the notification bell so you get notified every time we release a video. What are you doing there, Tricky? Tricky's doing well. I've had him in here for a few weeks now because of the heat and the water situation. So he's getting plenty of good hay and some grain every day. So he definitely doesn't mind that. Here's what my truck looks like going to the uh, to the market and coming back from the market. All of our summer sausage and tabletop stuff, freezer, seen better days, coolers. So get this unloaded and I can get on with doing chores. Okay, got that done. It's not too bad. Uh, just a few trips in and out. I know one of the questions, one of the concerns is where are our cattle? What's going to happen with our cattle now that we're also doing bison? And they are, uh, they're still here. They're still with us. That's not something we will ever go away from. Like I've said before, I grew up with cattle. That's where really my love for animals started. So uh, here they are right now eating some spent grains got a couple bins put out for them yesterday um, they're on the front side of the property where that water is i talked about a few videos back when our ponds are running low and they have been hanging out at that water morning and night usually see them in the morning they're there getting a drink then they head back uh, across the creek to the other pastures and then in the evening as they're back over getting a drink our ponds, even though we've got some rain, our ponds are still super low and uh, honestly probably going to have to have them on that water for throughout the winter until uh, our ponds really fill back up, hopefully next spring. But they are doing well. You can see all the way down the fence line. They're here in this pond, which there's not much water there, but they are doing well and just had a couple new calves the other day, so we're still expanding the cattle herd. So some of the spent grains saved for our uh, calves that we have up here, Darth and Doris and Skip and Hope, and then for Elsa and the donkeys um, and the goats while we still have them and the chickens. So just going to finish scooping these buckets out and get them fed.
Well, if you couldn't tell, there was a little bit of a hierarchy. Not a little bit, there's definitely one. So Doris is the first one. She gets whatever grain she wants. And it's probably because of these horns right here. You can tell uh, she's a part highland and part longhorn and her horns are really starting to come in. They've really grown the last, get that horse flying off here, the last few weeks. Then next, probably because she's the biggest, is Hope. And she doesn't have horns, so she's the next one to get her grain. And then the donkeys over there, Bert and Sugar. And these two get along great most of the time, but sometimes they start uh, kicking each other and uh, Sugar usually ends up winning. And then the last ones that get their pick are Elsa and then the goats and sometimes i feel like the goats are higher up on the hierarchy than than elsa is you can see moana and vincent van goat then carmel and carl and elsa over there i should have fed the ducks first so they would have been quiet You guys not gonna let me pet you today? All right, you crazy ducks. We gotta get you new water again. When it gets hot like this, I could probably honestly fill their water twice a day, um, but we're doing it at least once a day right now. A few days we've done it twice a day. So we got some eggs there to get though. All right, last chore for now is checking the chicken feed. That's plentiful. This feeder that we got a long time ago has been great. They uh, can fill it up, can keep it off the ground so mice or stuff like that don't get in it. And then the chickens have plenty of food. Maddie, there's no eggs under you, girl. All right, just collect the eggs and that'll be it for chores for me for the day. Well, I think the chickens had a good day full of two duck eggs and the rest chicken eggs. All right, the last, I guess the last chore of the day is checking the bison. I've already uh, checked their water, they have plenty of water. I've been feeding them some grain in this red feeder up here. There it is, my sweaty finger. And they haven't really come over and started eating it yet. Um, I'm gonna try to get some sweeter grain to see if I can get them to come over there. What's really unique with them is when I come down here, this is probably the closest they've stayed to me. They usually run on the other side of the trees, whichever side I'm on, but when Sawyer, or oldest, comes down here, they come right over to the fence. It's like she can talk to them. <laughs> it's really unique. But while I'm down here, I wanna start introducing uh, each of our new bison one at a time. So the first one I'm gonna introduce is this big guy right here. Uh, we've had him here for over a week now, and we haven't named him yet. I kind of want to get a net to know him a little bit more before we name him, but this is our bull. Um, he's out of uh, a Peter Cole cow, and then his big bull, uh, one of Peter's favorite bulls that he's had, Brutus. Brutus has um, been in a couple of the videos we've had recently. And uh, he was the one when we were working animals that wasn't real happy and was hitting the panel. But you can tell this guy is, um, he's just about 26 months now, uh, 27 months now. And he's already uh, done his job with a couple of the heifers that are in here. 62, one of them, and the other one is over on this side of the trees uh, she doesn't have a near tag but she's the second biggest one besides 62 so he seems to know what he's supposed to be doing and uh, he uh, he's been of the seven that we have right now 
eighth one still coming outside of 62 here has been as you can tell he stays the closest to us so he's been really calm um, other than walking away usually when I come down but he has been a great bull it's gonna be really neat to see him grow over the years right now he's probably right around a thousand pounds um, I would guess in the next four years he'll get closer to 1800 to 2000 and uh, really become a really nice looking looking bull that will hopefully uh, provide us with a lot of babies for the time to come so if you have some ideas for names um, put them in the comments below one thing I really like uh, I was a history teacher for a long time still kind of feel like I'm a history teacher and so I thought about naming them after US presidents or generals or something like that um, also very big into sports so some famous sports players especially uh, you know Kansas City sports players or went to University of Missouri so any of those ideas would be much appreciated well everyone thanks for following along uh, got to do all the chores today and uh, introduce you to our new bison bull updated on the cows and see that they're all still doing well Hope everybody stays well, and until next time, we'll see you back here real soon.